Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and today's video is a request by one of my Patreons and we are going to revisit our previous survival game series for this. So the question was how do you claim land spots? First and foremost this system uh, doesn't necessarily need to be built with the survival game systems. These land claims could be used with any system as long as you do have some kind of a building system. So the first thing what I actually want to do is create a new trace channel so that it would be only detected for checking the uh, claim chunk itself and nothing else in the game. So I will go to my project settings and I will look for the collisions tab over here and I'm going to add a new trace channel and I'm going to call this land claim trace. And by default, I want this to be set to ignore so that everything would ignore this. And there is only going to once going to be one specific trace, which is going to block this. But by default, we simply want to ignore this for everything, our character, our camera and etc. Now, once that is done, let's create the actual thing that's going to represent our land masses. So let's go to our build modes folder. Let's create a new actor. And I'm just going to create a regular actor and let's call this land claim. Let's open this up and over here first and foremost, the most important part is we need to replicate this actor. So let's select our class, uh, class defaults and let's click this replicates check right here. Now let's add a new variable because we need to specify the land owner. And let's make sure that this is a text field in my case because I have a unique identification for every single one of my characters and that is the player's uh, name and uh, the name is a text field. So the next thing would be replicating this variable as well so that everybody would see who is the owner of this uh, uh, chunk right here. And for this actor right here, we also want to add a box collision which will, will be our actual land chunk. So. Uh, now let's let's actually block our uh, land claim trace. So let's go down till we see the collision. And now over here for the collision presets, we want to set this to be the custom one. We want to have collision enabled query only. And here what we want to do is actually click on this top ignore so that we would ignore all of these channels that we have right here, except we want to block the land claim trace. So let's make sure we block that. Then we can compile and save this and technically this would be it for this specific chunk but i want to have some kind of understanding where this chunk actually is in my game world just for the testing purposes only in the finished game you don't need these things but i will simply add some cubes to this so let's have a cube and i will make my cube to be something like uh, let's see so point one Point one, point one. Uh, maybe one. So these look very big. So this is actually 01, 01. There we go. And I'm gonna have four of these, and I'm gonna move all of these at the at the very, very edges of this box collision right here. So one is gonna be right on the edge, and this is gonna be right on the edge. Then I'm gonna copy this, move this to the opposite edge like so and make two more of those there we go move those to the opposite edge and now I will actually be able to see this in the game world so now let's actually bring this in so let's bring in our chunk and by default you can see it's very small but that's not an issue with us because we can simply scale this up so I'm gonna hold control scale it up and there we go I have my land chunk right here now let's set up the actual functionality because as of right now everybody can build inside of this and there will be no issues. So I'm gonna go to my third person character which contains all of the logic I have for this game and well there's quite a lot of things here but what is important is that we find our build mode so we have our build mode function and let's see so let's let's go to any of these I'm gonna go to the first one for the foundation and let's see what we can do about this so inside of this function somewhere we need to check if we are the owner of this chunk or if we can actually claim this chunk so a good location probably would be well if it's red it's red it definitely can't be built but maybe if the ghost turns green 
if we are allowed to build in this location then maybe we could check whether we uh, can build uh, and if we are a owner so inside of here we could actually run our new function so i'm going to create a new function and i'm going to call this is claimed i'm going to move this to my build functions and then in my make go, go make build ghost green at the end of this i'm going to run my is claimed now to make my life a little bit easier i have a function called is build overlap and from here i can copy some of the basic things so i need to copy the build ghost make sure it's valid i want to do a box trace around it i want to select the if branch check as well and simply yeah basically all of the nodes except for the last last node so let's copy that in here so that we are doing the same thing we are doing a line trace a box trace by channel uh, but for the trace channel instead of using the visibility i want to use my land claim trace so that the only thing that this trace would collide with is our uh, claimed chunk itself then we will break this hit result because from this hit result from the hit actor itself we want to cast to our land claim so that we can have a chat with him and discover who is the owner of this specific chunk so first thing i will promote this to a variable let's promote to a variable and let's call this current chunk so that we know uh, the current chunk that we are in trying to build in and then from this one we want to do a if branch check and what we want to check for is actually two things the first one is as our uh, land claim we want to get the land owner there we go we have the land owner and we want to check if this land owner's name is equal to our character's name so i'm going to drag in my player name render which is a thing above every single one of my characters which represents the character's name mm -hmm. so i will drag that in and then from this one i need to get the text so we are getting the text and this can be the b route for this uh, check equal and another check that I want to make is check so here I'm checking if I am the owner but perhaps this chunk doesn't have an owner so I will also drag from the land owner and check if that is equal to basically an empty text but for the text we need to make a text so let's write in type uh, text make literal text just simply leave the value empty so that you would provide this with an empty text from these boolean values we can do a or boolean check to see if any of these two is true because if we are a owner or if the owner doesn't exist that means that we well we are allowed to build in this chunk now if this returns false if none of these are correct that means that well we want to make our build ghost red because that means that well this chunk is already owned by somebody else for the transform we do need to provide from our build system our build transform variable so let's provide the location and we are all good and done with this function right here Make sure you don't make a mistake and don't make your build ghost green in your is claimed function like I just did because on false we want to make build ghost red because well none of those um, conditions are true so that means we are forbidden to build in that specific location. So now we are running this if the system detects that well you should be able to build here then it checks if the chunk has been claimed and then performs the next actions if needed now the next thing is actually giving a check once we try to build something so that we would be able to claim that specific chunk and uh, i'm gonna make this the way so that if the chunk doesn't have an owner and if i'm the first person to build something on that chunk i will automatically claim that chunk you might have some different options maybe for your game uh, but well that's that's what i plan on creating here so i'm gonna go to my mouse left pressed function which contains everything that happens when i click my mouse left button and over here if my build mode is turned on and if i'm allowed to build i have a function called finish building then in this finish building we are checking if it's an item that we are building or if it's a buildable piece structure and then we are sending information to the server and making server actually spawn these things so let's open this up because we need to populate our build something function with a couple of more variables so in my build something i will create a new variable 
for the input and I'm going to call this land claim which needs to be our land claim actor reference itself and another value would be the uh, let's call this claim owner uh, let's call this claim owner and let's simply just make this into a text there we go and then we can plug both of these values inside of this event right here and this automatically creates these inputs now we can go a step back to our finished building and now provide this information now for the land claim we can use our current chunk that we just created and let me actually move that to my build system variables and for the claim owner we want to grab our player render name and get his name by getting the text and then we can plug that into the claim owner there we go and we want to do exactly the same thing at the bottom so I'm gonna copy these two because I have another server build something over here and I'm gonna plug the same values in here as well so now we are good with this and this all of this happens on the client side uh, but now we need to provide the same information uh, so we need to provide some checks about these informations that we are providing in the server side as well so let's go to our build something and let's see so here we are promoting all of the information needed to the local variables so let's make sure we do that first and once we are done with that what we want to do is do a small if branch check to see a, a couple of things so basically whether uh, we are allowed to build here and if we are well then we can claim here and over here we will want to check whether uh, this is a new uh, unclaimed area and if it is then we are going to set the claim owner so from the claim land claim we want to set the land owners variable like so so let we do that on the true value and then we proceed with the next if branch check but if this is if this condition will be false then we just simply skip this step now for the condition itself what we want to do is first we want as the from the land claim we want to check if it is valid if we are in a chunk or maybe we are outside of the chunk because not not all of the map uh, let's say will be claimable and then also from the land claim we want to get the uh, land owner variable right here so that we know who is the owner of this and we want to check if this is equal to again an empty value so let's make a literal text let's check if this is empty and here we want to do a and boolean check from is valid and if this doesn't have a owner and that is going to be our condition so if this thing returns true then we want to populate our landowner with our claim owners value from the input like so and I think that should be it so now I have three characters with different names let's walk up to this location let's try to build a foundation as you can see we are allowed to build this over here if we walk in the chunk we are still able to build this so now let's let's place down our foundation and let's give this a try from another character so now we have our build ghost available to us but once we try to walk in you can see as soon as we hit this location as soon as we are in the claimed chunk we are no longer allowed to build well it still still does um, snap to the locations but as you can see it's red and it doesn't allow us to build anything that's going to be it for today's video like always thank you for watching and i see you in the next episode